Uh, we're in the library of the Trashevchenko Museum in Toronto, Canada, and uh, the collection, as you can see, is a very large collection. It's one of the best Shevchenko libraries, uh, certainly in the Western world, uh, and it also has something like a hundred and twenty-five or so uh, kobzars, that is, the complete uh, uh, poetry of Trashevchenko in in uh, in print. We do have one book, at least, that was published when Shuchanko was still alive in 1860. So this collection is a, a very valuable collection of uh, Tra Shuchanko. The uh, museum library has uh, uh, provided information to many people that are interested in the life and times of Tra Shuchanko. I'm Andrew uh, Grigorovich, uh, president of the Shevchenko Museum here in Toronto, Canada. Uh, our museum uh, was originally founded in 1952, uh, but a fire destroyed the museum and this particular location inside of Toronto uh, was established in 1995. So uh, it's been uh, functioning for 15 years. Our museum is primarily uh, about the great poet and uh, talented artist Tras Shevchenko. Uh, who lived from March 9th, 1814 to uh, March 10th, 1861. Uh, so he was 47 years old. Uh, he suffered in the Russian Empire, which at that point uh, ruled Ukraine, and was arrested by the Russian police uh, at least three times, and exiled by the Tsar of Russia to Siberia as a common soldier, uh, which also broke his health. Uh, in our exhibit here, we have a great many of the uh, uh, Kobzars, that is the book of poetry, a collected book, book of poetry of Tras Shevchenko. Uh, Kobzar is a, a minstrel in English, and uh, that's basically what Shevchenko was. Shevchenko was unusual in that he uh, helped to establish the, the literary language of Ukraine, just as Dante uh, formed the Italian language and Shakespeare did the English language. So the three of them uh, contributed to the development of their literary languages, and of course Shevchenko uh, had a great influence on the uh, literary language of Ukraine. Uh, here we have examples of the very first Kubzar of Tras Shevchenko, published in 1840 uh, in St. Petersburg, uh, the Russian capital at that point. Uh, and we also have a collection of some of the Kubzars here. We have a total, I believe it's about 125 or 130 Kubzars of Tras Shevchenko. One interesting thing about Shevchenko is that uh, he has an, a tremendous number of monuments around the world. Uh, according to uh, Halchenko, the director of the Shevchenko Museum in uh, Kiev, uh, I was told that there are over 600 monuments to Shevchenko around the world. Uh, in Paris, in the uh, 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 United States, uh, Washington DC, in Canada, in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and in many other countries around the world, we do have the portrait, the uh, statues of Tras Shevchenko. Uh, here we have a famous portrait, a self-portrait of Tras Shevchenko, which he painted in 1840, which is the same year as his book of poetry came out. By profession, Shevchenko was actually not a poet, he was an artist by, by profession, and uh, he was a genius both in uh, uh, poetry and in painting. Uh, this particular self-portrait was uh, uh, created the same year as his first book of poetry, the Kobzar, was, was published in, in 1840. Next to uh, Shevchenko here we have a port uh, painting by him, which is Katarena, which is one of his stories about a maiden who was, uh, 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 became pregnant and uh, was abandoned by her lover. Uh, it's uh, one of the great paintings of uh, Tras Shevchenko and it uh, represents, uh, 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 in a very concrete way, his talent and his genius as, a, as an artist. And we have in the next room a uh, very important uh, collection. On this wall we have the uh, works of Karashevchenko. Ira Aldrich was a very famous uh, Shakespeare tra tragedian. He uh, was responsible for uh, 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 developing in Shevchenko a, a, a tremendous friendship between the two of them, although he didn't speak Ukrainian and Shevchenko didn't speak English, but they were friends. Shevchenko's self-portrait here is a copy actually of a photograph, and here we have the most valuable item in our exhibit, which is the uh, 
uh, death mask of uh, Tarashuchenko, uh, probably done on March 15 of 1861, the day after he died. Uh, I was in the uh, studio of uh, Tarashuchenko in St. Petersburg. It's in the Academy of Arts, uh, and it's uh, normally closed. I was there in 1989, and uh, it, it has a stairway where Shuchenko, uh died uh, uh, in his studio uh, in St. Petersburg. Here we have a portrait of Shuchenko. There's about a dozen photograph uh, portraits of Shuchenko. He uh, came at a time when just photo photography was starting. And in the corner here we have a, a Russian army uniform that he would have worn. This is a, a replica of the uh, uniform that Shuchanka would have had for when he was 10 years in exile in Siberia. And this was used in the film Tra Shuchanko by Bondarchuk, who was a prominent actor, and he, uh, the film is called Tra Shuchanko. And here are other illustrations of uh, Shuchanko's work. This is in exile in a, a Kazakh boy in the hallway. These are copies of the originals which are in Kiev, okay. the Ukrainian capital city. Uh, his talent as a watercolor artist was uh, quite substantial. And on this wall we have uh, uh, the ceramics, the woodwork, and of course this unusual portrait of Tarashevchenko which is actually not a painting, but a, an embroidery. It's, it's created out of embroidery uh, and is a, an excellent piece of work. Uh, we are in the art gallery of the Shuchenko Museum in Toronto, and on this wall here we have the works of Taras Shuchenko, uh, watercolors uh, across the way. This particular one uh, Shuchenko won a silver medal for this particular work here, which is a uh, fortune teller. And all the other works are, are his work as well uh, in watercolors. We also do have a single oil painting of his uh, here, uh, which is the uh, family, uh, a village family. Uh, next to it, we have a selection of his self-portraits. Tras Shuchenko painted about a, a dozen or so self-portraits, and there's about a, a dozen uh, photographs also of, of Taras Shevchenko. And these give an idea of the uh, variety of his work, uh, pen and ink and uh, uh, paintings as well. He was forbidden by the Russian Tsar to, to either write, or pay, write poetry or to paint when he was in exile, but uh, he ignored the Tsar's uh, uh, command and he did continue to write poetry and to, to paint. One other interesting thing here is the collection that we have of uh, postage stamps of uh, Tras Shurchenko, and uh, they indicate the tremendous world uh, importance of him as a, uh, a figure of Ukraine. Uh, this collection was created by a fellow by the name of Inger Kuzich in the United States, and I was instrumental in bringing it here to the museum. Uh, I think that it's an, an excellent uh, example of uh, Shuchanko's uh, world influence. Uh, I think that's a very important point for us to, to make uh, in addition to the portrait here and another portrait of Shuchanko, uh, that uh, he was a world po poet rather than just a Ukrainian poet and I think that that's uh, something that uh, could be appreciated better if he was better known uh, than he is. The Shuchanko Museum here attempts to uh, promote the, the interest and the knowledge of Taras Shevchenko. Uh, we're beside the head of a monument that was in Oakville, uh, Palermo, Oakville, for uh, a good half century uh, from 1951 uh, when it was uh, unveiled and uh, it uh, was unfortunately stolen uh, much later and uh, only the head has survived. What is very important though is that this museum uh, the only one in the uh, Western world, in the Americas, uh, depends on donations rather than support from the government. We do not get any kind of government support. We would appreciate it if you've enjoyed the show and if you appreciate uh, Tras uh to consider a donation to our uh, museum because it will help us since we get no grants from the government or any other uh, major agencies. I hope that you have enjoyed the uh, uh, visit to the Shevchenko Museum. Uh, we've given you a tour of our treasures, 
and uh, our art, and I hope that it has been of interest to you. If you are ever in Toronto, Canada, uh, please come and visit us. We are open from 10 to 4, Monday to Friday, and we're located on Blur Street West in uh, Toronto at 1614. 16,